Okay, hello again. My name is Will, and I, this is going to be a f- full coverage of Tilray. Um, some of you may be bored when I cover oscillators down below. Others may be bored when I cover um, short volume ratio or when I cover uh, short interest days to cover. Um, but I'm sure everybody is interested in one of the things I just mentioned um, because that's kind of what's going on here. Um, first, I guess I'll just talk about Tilray uh, like from a broad uh, overview. It, it's a weed stock. It's probably the biggest weed company in the world. As you know, weed's about to go legal. Um about to go legal nationwide at least here in the united states um it's probably going to be going legal in canada fully and uh, you know in all kinds of places in europe and stuff like that as well um as you know places usually stay in line with each other when they have similar views uh as far as around the world um Okay, so I'll cover the RSI. That's that pink line. That's the big one, in my opinion. That one means everything. As you can see, it's it's below that top line. The top line indicates overbought. Um, as you can see, when it did the huge move back at the beginning of the year, it went above that line, came back down, went above that line again, and came back down. I'm not trying to like predict two moves like that. What it did there was cool, and I'm all for it. I'm just saying we're below the area where we even need to worry about selling right now. It doesn't need to go above and below and back above because it's still below. It's, you know, it's coming from oversold territory up into bot, which is nice. And the TTM squeeze below shows you it's starting to gain green bars like a MACD. Um, And the squeeze is on, as you all know. I'll go into that in a sec. The stotch here, it don't matter. It's just bouncing off the top line, as it'll do when these are doing huge moves. Um, First of all, I'm going to cover short interest. Um, Short interest is high. We have... um, Okay, I'll just cover like the last month and a half. We have... 30 million shorts that um, from 415 that need to cover in two days. We have 32 more million um, from 430, um, the date 430, that have two days to cover. Then we have the newest bunch from 514. Uh, 34 million this is a total of almost a hundred million that need to cover and and that biggest bunch from from a half a month ago has one day to cover they have uh till friday okay in end of end of day so that's why we're seeing these big moves because we have a hundred million people that need to cover in the next two and a half trading days okay Two trading days, actually. It was two and a half when I pulled this up earlier during the trading day. Um, now, what is the short? Uh, what is the short volume? Uh, uh, you might be asking. What's the percentage? Okay, um, the percentage is around twenty-five percent. Um, four days ago, it was twenty-five percent of us were short. And then 24%, then 27% yesterday. Today, 25% of the volume was short. Uh, I think someone said 22% of the total shareholders are short and need to cover. That's pretty big. That's, That's a lot of people that need to cover. So as far as price targets go, this ain't my thing. I'm in this to make money. But I like you guys, so I'm going to help you. I I see us hitting 30 before we even hit the top line on the RSI. As you can see, it can go above the top line. The RSI can. Um, that's just an estimate for me, and I'm not going to go further than that. Because 
we're all going to have to make some decisions at that point, and I'm not going to harp on anyone from for selling or holding. I'm in options, okay? <laughs> Granted, I just made a ton today off options. I'm in pure calls for this, okay? Because um, I like options. I'm sick of shares. But anyway, uh, I want to thank all you that have bought shares because you do drive my options and uh, my options do drive your price as well so we're working together um, I'm squeezing them over here the guys buying puts you know you're squeezing the guys by we're all squeezing them all together but anyway the guys buying puts are mainly paying me uh, fuck other people buying are the ones that are paying you you know what I mean but but you guys are also paying me but options can go bad I'm not endorsing options but if you want to get into options I think Tilray right now is a good one to start options on start with a winner hope this helps